From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. More controversy in Brookings City politics. Less than a week after a special election to recall Mayor Hedenskog and Councilors Murawski and Schreiber, unofficial results showed a landslide victory. Roughly 70 percent voted yes on the recall. But at the November 13th City Council meeting, voters found out they won't be able to choose a candidate to fill at least one of those seats. It's a political move, and KCIW is told it's all about maintaining control of the council. Because by resigning now instead of waiting for the official results of the recall election, it opens the door for the remaining councillors to appoint replacements. And that may mean that voters won't have a say in who runs the city. Now, you'll recall all of this started because the city manager was arrested for theft, the public wanted her fired, but the mayor and two city councillors voted instead to keep her on with a raise after a seven-month paid leave, hence the recall campaign. Now, one would think that voters would be deciding who would replace those recalled officials. The Brookings City Charter calls for a special election after a recall and says it has to happen within a certain time period. The clock starts ticking when the city receives election certification. But the city hasn't gotten that notification yet, which means that by resigning instead of waiting to be officially recalled, the remaining council members have the power to appoint replacements. The November 7th recall hasn't yet been certified by Curry County Clerk Shelley Denny. She has until the first week in December to do so. But city council members blocked voters from replacing at least one of those who were recalled, and it means that a special election may not take place at all. So how did all that happen? Well, Ron Hedenskog and Michelle Murawski, two of the three Brookings City Council members who were recalled by voters, didn't show up for the latest city council meeting. They resigned instead. The third councillor who was recalled is Ed Schreiber, and he says he'll hand in his resignation too, but not before he voted with councillors Andy Martin and Isaac Hodges to appoint a new councillor. All of this taking place as the Brookings City Attorney listened by phone at the November 13th city council meeting. And here's the hard reality for Brookings voters. By resigning their seats before Schreiber, Mayor Hedenskog and Councillor Murawski made it possible for him to join with Councillors Martin and Hodges to appoint a new, unelected councillor, Christy Fulton. By appointing Councillor Fulton to Murawski's seat, the Brookings City Council maintains a quorum, and it effectively kneecaps citizens who voted for the recall, because the remaining three councillors have the power to appoint yet another new councillor and a new mayor without an election. And if that happens, it would mean that four out of the five members of the Brookings City Council will have been appointed, not elected, to their positions. Now, this is an ongoing story, and KCIW will continue to bring you updates as they occur. But for now, Mayor Ron Hedenskog and Councillor Michelle Murawski have both resigned their positions after a landslide recall. Brookings has a newly appointed city council member, and voters who were hoping the recall would result in trust and transparency at City Hall say they were cheated out of their victory by the same politicians they voted out. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.